Brought to you by Station House Coffee and Amazon. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality. The Wrong Missy. New comedy out on Netflix from the Happy Madison production brain of Adam Sandler starring David Spade and Lauren Lapkus. A really fun movie. If you're looking for a fun, happy movie with that's not going to stress you out, I'm trying to find stuff that's not going to stress me out. And this movie hit the spot. It was just a fun movie overall. Um, Nick Swartzen's in it also. Nick Swartzen, who knew, is turning into Burt Kreischer, starting from his head. And he's apparently working his way down uh, to be the fattest comedian uh, on earth. Uh, Burt Kreischer still holding that 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 uh, trophy, but uh, Nick Swartz is in it. Great, he plays the boss of David Spade, and he's kind of the worst boss because he's like the ultimate nosy boss, where he has like access to all of his accounts, and he's tracking uh, David Spade's character as he's trying to navigate the dating landscape on dating apps, uh, which is where he finds. B- at least the first Missy is found on a dating app, which goes horribly. That's where you're introduced to Lauren Lapkus, who plays just like this crazy eccentric uh, lady um, who's just got like tons of energy. It's really like the reality version of this character would be somebody that I think I would probably go out with or have gone out with, right? Like it's there's an energy to her that's infectious that like, it's exciting, but then ultimately it's just not healthy, at least at first. it's At first, she's a very, it seems very unhealthy that she's around any human beings at all. Um, and David Spade's just kind of the older, he plays a straight man in this. He's like older guy, just trying to, he doesn't know what he's doing, you know. Um, but just funny. So the whole premise is that he's getting invited, he's going on this, this uh, work retreat, and he he's inviting uh, the second Missy, who he, he has like a fling with, uh, and it turns out she's like gorgeous and she's amazing. And they have this fling and he thinks he's inviting her, but he ends up inviting the wrong Missy. They meet on the plane, which is a horrible idea, but, you know, works for the movie. I don't even know if you could do that in reality nowadays, but they meet on the plane. And from then on, it's just him trying to survive this weekend or this week with this person that he was trying to get away, thought he had left, thought he had gotten rid of this crazy person out of his life uh, just to find out that he accidentally invites this person on a trip. Like, if you're going on a trip, it's it's one thing to just be going out of town, like a little road trip or something like that. It's a completely different thing when you're flying from, I believe, L.A., I don't know where they originated, from the city they were in to Hawaii, where it's like you're stuck on an island. You know, it takes like a five-plus-hour flight to get anywhere. Um, but it's a great scenario for a comedy. So you're seeing the all the different characters are fun. Of course, you're getting all the different Adam Sandler characters. There's one character that I wasn't too much of a fan of, the Barracuda. Uh just like i don't know she looked like she just had this like squinty like just the it just uh, like annoying just the 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 feature the physical facial features of the barracuda were were off-putting to me uh so probably one of the low points of the movie which you know for a comedy there's not too many low points thankfully uh there is a hilarious hilarious diving scene uh, one of Lauren Lapkus's, uh, you know, things that she was, David Spade told all his coworkers about this other Missy, who was a super, mo- or a, like a, she won a, a, a beauty pageant. Uh, she's like a multiple, she's an athlete in multiple disciplines. Um, so the new, the, the wrong Missy is asked to do this dive off of a cliff. And it's one of the funniest scenes Um, I mean, there is definitely some slapstick in this movie that I enjoy. I enjoy some good slapstick. And that diving scene was probably the funniest thing in the movie. And it's a funny movie overall. There is a pointless, like, towards the end of this movie, there is, like, there's this threesome scene that doesn't really do, like, there's this threesome, right, where he's sleeping with an ex and miss the wrong Missy. And... 
it's because you know the wrong missy is turning out to be this like actually really smart person and has like a lot of different skills one of which is like couples therapy and and uh, another's like chiropractor and it's it just you find out that sh there's a lot more to her than just being a crazy lady and there's this threesome scene where she's trying to reconnect David Spade's character with an ex that's also there who's getting married to his friend so they have this threesome, but then the next day, it's like they run into his friend, and they like nobody knows, nobody. It's like this scene that like ends up being nothing. Like it doesn't have, like there's no consequences to it aside from like the bit of like him trying to have a threesome, but meanwhile keep he keeps knocking his ex out because he's more focused on the wrong Missy. Uh, so maybe that's it. I don't know. It just it's like a scene that like just never exists in this movie other than that scene um but yeah it's it's a really fun movie if you i mean just it's it's just i don't know in times like now to to have a movie where you can just unplug and just kind of enjoy stuff and not be too stressed out so that i mean there is a little bit of stress when you're in a relationship with who, somebody who's toxic or scary and it's just uh you know that that could maybe trigger some things but not i mean it's it's fun because like you see her she's like the most badass person towards the end she just doesn't give a fuck she's herself she like goes above and beyond to like try and you know be a part of this whole thing meanwhile david spade's character is trying to avoid her um yeah just the whole the whole movie is rob schneider's fun in this one he plays like a local uh a local like uh i don't know what his like he's just kind of a, a guy that helps out around the resort but he's missing fingers from a shark attack or whatever um there's a scene where they go they're gonna go sh jumping in a cage with a shark uh it's it's a really fun movie there's there's some funny moments and then the end the end wraps up nice and sweet in a way i mean there's there's kind of like the the, the climax of the movie the the right Missy, quote unquote, right Missy shows up just as he's falling for the wrong Missy. And there's the whole, of course, you know, misunderstanding and wrong Missy leaves, right, Miss, right Missy's there. And then cut back to city life where they're, he's back trying to, he's living his life and trying to get a hold of the wrong Missy. And <clears throat> the last scene is very similar to the first scene where there's the bar and he tries to play the same trick on her that she played on him. And it's sweet. There's a little cameo from Vanilla Ice, which is so random. But, you know, it, I mean, it made sense, I guess, for the, the clip. I don't know. Uh, but it was a fun. Overall, The Wrong Missy, I had a lot of fun. If you're looking for something fun to watch, a romantic comedy with some just fun. It's just a fun. I really do enjoy Adam Sandler movies, even though, like, they're stupid sometimes. Uh which comedies can be stupid that's you know one of the the easiest ways to be funny i guess is just to make people stupid uh not that people are necessarily stupid in this but it's i don't know it's a really fun dynamic this whole movie um and lauren lapkus is amazing i love her in everything she's just everything she's in she's just she's so good and uh i i really enjoyed this and i i you know it'd be cool to see her in more more comedies, maybe. Uh, I would also love to see, by the way, Bobby Lee get a better role than just a uh, hotel clerk. I mean, he could have been, like, I, not to say Nick Swartzen wasn't good, but he could have easily been Nick Swartzen's character. He could have been just any of the people, like the side characters in the mix that, uh, you know, that are around because you know there's there's not a lot of people in this movie but you know because he's there with his whole company at this retreat so i don't know it just it seemed like it was an underused bobby lee i just i would love to see bobby lee in a movie where he's like the lead a comedy with bobby lee as the lead would be insane especially if it was produced by adam sandler that would be because you know you're going to get a, a certain type of sensibility and he has the ability to do um, like just, I mean, he's done a lot of classic kind of rom-coms, uh, so it could be a rom-com with Bobby Lee too. I think that would be awesome. 
Uh, but I would love to see Bobby Lee do uh, do more in an Adam Sandler movie. I think that would be amazing. But uh, for sure, if you're looking for something fun to watch on Netflix, The Wrong Missy, you can't go wrong with The Wrong Missy. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> be sure to check out our sponsor, Station House Coffee, on Instagram and stationhousecoffee.com. Order coffee, have it delivered directly to you for small batch, single origin, premium coffee, Brewed in Vermont, shipped directly to you. Go to stationhousecoffee.com and order your coffee now. Also, shop on Amazon. Support the show and use the link inspireddisorder.com slash Amazon. It'll take you to Amazon. You shop just like you normally would, but a small percentage comes to this show to help support the show. And all you have to do is buy stuff on Amazon. So go to inspireddisorder.com slash Amazon. That's the link, inspireddisorder.com slash Amazon. It'll take you to the store. You order whatever you want, and it ships directly to you because you know how Amazon works. New episodes come out every single day. Subscribe on IGTV, YouTube, and everywhere else podcasts are found. Go buy my artwork and merchandise for this show over at InspiredDisorder.com. Follow the show on Instagram, at Ray Taylor Show. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Peace out!